In the northwest region of China, on the edge of the Gobi Desert, lies one of the world's most remarkable collections of Buddhist art, the Magao Grottoes. During the age of the Silk Road, travelers would stop here to pray for safe passage or to give thanks for the journey safely made. Over the course of a thousand years, hundreds of temples venerating the Buddha were carved into the cliff face at Magao. Today, nearly 500 of these grotto temples remain, visited by people from around the world. The wall paintings at Magao are a window into Chinese life and belief from the 4th to the 14th century. For a number of years, the Getty Conservation Institute has been working with the Dunhuang Academy at Magao to develop ways to better preserve this World Heritage Site. One project is focused on Cave 85, a large Tang Dynasty cave. Here, as in many caves at Magao, there are places where the wall paintings on mud plaster are cracking and detaching from the rock walls. When we started to work in collaboration with the Getty, we decided to choose Cave 85 because it is a typical cave of the Dunhuang area and it has all the commonly found severe wall painting problems. If we could have a breakthrough in conservation research, it would be good not only for this significant cave, but would also be beneficial for the other caves in the Dunhuang area. Working with the conservation staff at the Dunhuang Academy, the Getty Project team developed an approach to the plaster detachment problem. The most crucial problem is the detachment of the wall painting, which is the earth and plaster uh, coming off the conglomerate support. The objective was to create a model project of conservation. And as the project was developed, create a protocol, a model that could be applied on the other caves in Mogao and on the other sites of the Silk Road. A first step was analyzing the causes of the problem. Cave 85 was like a patient. We were the doctors coming in to diagnose the condition of the wall paintings. We undertook a program of uh, analytical research to study the wall paintings in Cave 85 so that we could better understand how they were made, uh, the materials that they were made from, and the conservation team will use that information to develop compatible treatments. The project team then worked on ways to secure the wall paintings. And we put a lot of effort into developing a compatible, lightweight, adhesive grout mixture uh, to inject behind the painted plaster to secure it back to the conglomerate rock. We had a lot of constraints and demands to meet in developing this ground. Our overriding um, concern was to get a compatible material. 
having defined the grout formulation, we then had to develop a set of procedures for injecting that material and coping with the problems of soluble salt uh, reduction in the plaster. So after grouting, we have a, a, a plaster that becomes very wet, becomes quite heavy. We need to apply a press system to support the plaster. The grouting, in a way, it replicates the original plaster. Of course, it's an added material, but we try to make it as similar to the original plaster as possible, with the same material characteristics. So it's, in effect, re-establishing the adhesion of the plaster to the conglomerate. The cave temples at Magao are a testament to the spiritual ideas that traveled along the Silk Road centuries ago. The conservation work being done today at Magao will help ensure that the art produced by those ideas remains for centuries to come.